Hi everyone, I'm Alex, and this is a puzzle called Diamonds from the April 2017 Puzzled Pint Suite. It's one of four puzzles whose answers combine to form a meta puzzle, and I'll be covering all of them on my channel. So here's what we've got. A title, some flavor text that might have subtle clues towards solving the puzzle, a word search grid, a bunch of blanks with shaded squares, and finally four blanks at the bottom of the page, similar to the other puzzles in this suite. There's a link to this puzzle in the description below. Please try it out for yourself, and then stick around after the break, and I'll show you how I solved it. So I'm just going to dive in. They haven't told us which words we're looking for, what words we're looking for, but we know their lengths basically from this. And we know we probably have a four letter answer because of this down here. Here's something that I like to do for word searches. I like to use another piece of paper to just look at the columns and the rows separately. I don't see anything there. Oh, no, I do. Barrel. So maybe these are all precious stones. Moon rock, ivory, feldspar. This has jewel reading up. It also has plan, but I don't think that's on purpose. Calcite. Onyx. Before I do anything else, I'm going to fill those in. I think these are probably alphabetical. D is pretty close to the beginning of the alphabet. And, you know, we have barrel, which is five letters, which would be a really nice match for this first one. So it's possible we're going to be wrong, but I'm going to start under that assumption. Uh, I just see onyx is the only four letter one. So that's nice reinforcement. This is probably alphabetical. Now let's look at the horizontal ones. Okay, off the bat I see garnet here. Quartz. I'm not the world's biggest word search fan, uh, which is part of the reason I use like a piece of paper. I sort of like to get through that as soon as possible. I find very little fulfillment in finding words in a grid, but I think other people enjoy it more than I do. So we know this is at Q or beyond. Um, so, and it's long. It's eight letters, so it'll be an almost an entire line. So let's see if we can find it um, quickly. Maybe it's diagonal. Tolpimot. Tolpimot. I don't think that's a word. <laughs> I don't know why I was so obsessed with looking at that. Probably. Void. Nope. I'm going to skip that for now. They highlighted all the first ones. I think maybe that's just to tell us that the first that they're alphabetical maybe not so i'm going to circle all these just so they're easier to see these are the shaded ones they've got a darker background i'm just going to write everything we have one thing i noticed just doing that that each one has exactly two that's got to be significant it looks like there's some sort of reordering but what is it that's interesting i guess we can order by where they are in the grid that doesn't seem right so if i take just the these ones well, that's not pretty what in tarnation? This Q is really unpleasant. So what do we do here? I feel like these letters have got to be significant. They're unique. I don't think this is right, but we could try re-alphabetizing by these ones. A we gives us D. Then the next letter is K, which gives us M. I already don't like DM, but let's just do a little more. We should have quick confirmation whether this is right or not. L is C, F, R, is it G? Okay, that's nothing. So what else can we do with this? Oh, 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 okay. I did something not very smart, which is I ignored the word search grid. So often with a word search, the remaining letters will spell out a phrase. So this is W-H-A-T, what? And then I have to keep in mind that we're missing one. What H P S S L E F T. So some of these letters are going to be in this eight letter word. I like what left. Oh, are these all birthstones? There are 11 of them. There are 12 birthstones. But I'm pretty sure that jewel isn't a birthstone. So that could have been something, but it's not. I need, an, I need a vowel that I don't have right now. Oh, it could be what's left. Oh, sapphire. Well, here's the one I've been missing, and I probably should have seen it, but I didn't. And sometimes you miss things and you have to go back. So now it just says, what's left? One thing we can do is we can circle the letters. I'm gonna circle in green the letters that are shaded. I'll do the second ones in green. So barrel is shaded, that Y in barrel. 
The reason I'm doing this is because this ordering doesn't seem to give us anything. Maybe the ordering in the grid is significant. That says y vax says zikr. That's terrible. I, I'm going to use a third color for just these beginning letters. I mean, I can't, I don't think they can possibly do anything because this Q has no corresponding U anywhere. But I'm going to do it anyways. F M O, no. Or, yeah, that's still nothing. We still have this clue phrase, what's left? I guess this could be a list of 12 precious stones. So for this purpose, I'm going to just search all of the stones in this together and see if it comes up with a list of something. That didn't give me anything. So what do I do here? We've found the extra clue phrase, what's left. I mean, it could be what's left of something, like not what's what remains, but what is to the left of something else. So here's something interesting. The letters here are all unique. There are 11 stones and each of them has two shaded letters. So 11 times two is 22. That leaves four letters left, which is exactly the length of our answer. So maybe if we find the letters that haven't been used here, those will spell out the answer. So if we have no H, no N, no T, no U. Okay, so that's four letters. I'm sure that everything from V on is in here. And this anagram is only one word that I can think of, which is hunt. So just to recap, first we found all the words in the grid, and we put them into their corresponding place. They're sorted alphabetically. And then the remaining letters spelled what's left. Uh, the correct interpretation of that was what's left in the alphabet, because we've used 22 letters based on the shaded letters. Uh, each of them had two of them, so that made 22. And then we found the four letters that were left in the alphabet, H, N, T, and U, and those, once anagram, spelled hunt, our answer. Let me know what you thought of this puzzle. Uh, I thought it was kind of fun. I liked that we knew exactly how many we needed, and you know the alphabetization was kind of nice. And then it, it kind of it had a pretty cool second step. Not at all what I was expecting, but, but pretty satisfying. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more puzzles. You'll find links to the other puzzles in this suite here once I post them. There's four playing card puzzles, and then a meta puzzle that combines the answers from them. I'd also definitely recommend checking out Puzzled Pint sometime. It's held on the second Tuesday of every month in cities all over the world. I've been doing it for about a year with some friends, and we all find it really fun and low-key.